Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Oris 101. My name is Van and today I'm going to teach you how to install your very first motherboard. Now before we begin, this video is just meant to provide a quick overview. If you want to find out more information, visit the Oris.com blog where we'll be breaking down this entire process with much more information. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Before we begin, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver to complete the installation. Once you have that, let's get ready to start. The first thing you're going to need to do is gather all of the required components. For me, I'm grabbing a Z370 Aorus Gaming 7 motherboard, an Aorus ATC700 CPU cooler, and 32GB of DDR4 RAM. All of this will be going inside an Aorus AC300W mid-tower case. Once you have all the necessary components, I recommend finding a clean and open workspace to begin the installation process. For this guide, I've already installed my CPU and CPU cooler. If you don't know how to install these, stay tuned for a future episode of Aorus 101, which will be coming very soon. Before the motherboard goes inside the case, you're going to want to install your RAM. Take a close look at the notch on your RAM sticks and match it up with the slots on your motherboard. When inserting, avoid using too much pressure or you may end up damaging your components. It's almost time to put the motherboard inside the case. Before you do so, you're going to want to install your IO shield onto the rear of the case. Every Aorus motherboard comes with an included IO shield out of the box. Make sure to install it in the proper orientation. Careful of the edges on these, some of them can be sharp. Once the IO shield is in place, it's time to bring in your motherboard. You're going to want to line up the motherboard with the standoffs on the case. Make sure all the holes are aligned properly. Next, you're going to secure the board to the case by screwing in the motherboard. Try not to over tighten these or you may end up damaging your board. We're almost done. All that's left to do is plug in your cables from your power supply into the correct locations. Here is the location for the 24 pin power cable. Here is the location for the CPU power. Congratulations! You've just installed your very first motherboard. Hope you guys found this episode of Aorus 101 helpful. If you have any questions, drop us a comment down below. We'll have more guides, tutorials, and how-tos coming very soon. In the meantime, follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. My name is Van from Aorus, and we'll see you guys next time.